Hello guys, welcome back to AppSheet tutorial. This is Aditya here. I am AppSheet expert, have 3 plus years of experience. So today we are going to see about in expression and uh, contains expression. So we can see the difference between in and contain. So in is basically the checking the item which has in the particular given list. For example, this list has A, B, C. So we are checking whether this list has A or B or C or something. So like this. So if you see in, in A, B, C, A, it's give true or else it's giving false, right? So if B, C means it, this list has doesn't have B, C. So it's giving false. So in is same like similar to contains, but contains what does it do is like it will check in the text fragment so which means so it's like a string one string and we are checking in this string whether we have the particular value or not okay so both are similar though this is in is we are checking in the item list and we are, this contains which we are the word itself means whether this string contains this value so in means whether this list has this item i mean in this list which has this item so it, that's called in so you can remember like this so in this list we have this a or not so this string contains a or not like that so this is the difference and we can see the small use case using in and contain so i have created a appsheet expression app the user who are new you can subscribe to our channel and you can check the above link which has all the appsheet expressions explanations uh now we are creating a new sheet in contains there i am giving a key codes okay and another column enter code and so you have the access okay. so three columns i have created so i'm going to create first i am going to explain for in expression so i have given some random codes for this ck and open and what we say like some random variables just open door and what other key codes okay cool. so i have created four key codes and user who going to enter this key code then they got access to edit this column like that i'm going to create one small use case and we will see the same thing using the contains okay so this is the list we are going to fetch from the key codes okay and for contains we're going to make it as a single literal okay so now i'm going to add this sheet expression So usually people will get confused for in and contains so I, that's why i'm comparing the both and uh, in which use case you can use this in and contains expression in the best way for your use case for your solutions i have added this there is some error i got this single expression So I'm going to add in the UX like one form I'm going to add. contains the form which i have added now okay. save uh, before that i have to give the conditions of in the definition in this i have to give conditions based on in if the key code contains then we can give access like that so key 
any code we don't need to show and then we'll keep this as ORC number as of now but this is not a good practice so you have to use the key value with your own generated value so as of now I can use this as key value or so this we are showing and this show expression we can give the show expression based on the in condition so in so we have key code so entered key value is in the key code so which means enter code right so enter code this row dot enter code this row dot enter code contains key codes from this sheet so in contains so we are checking the entered code has in contains okay so then only we are showing this you got access thing and now i'm saving this will be the text save now cancel in then column contains so enter code so i am going to enter a passcode check oops it's not working oh. so usually you need to show this one i think i have made some mistake in this this row dot enter code in contains let's test this expression The check open door cool it's coming fine this is fine because we are fetching all this check open door cool. so this four quotes is coming but then this has some issue so we will remove this so we got into code okay. because this row will sometimes it's like a, it won't be dynamically so maybe it will be fetching the first what is the value it's empty right so it's taking as empty row now i made this instead of this row i just put the enter code in contains key codes because this row is referred by the key column which won't be dynamically it's considered as taking as the empty value so initially it will be empty so that's why it's taking as empty value so if i remove this row enter code so whatever i type it will be dynamical so now I have save. I am giving some random quotes. It's not allowing. Now when I move to the check. See we got access. So now I can. So it's changing dynamically right so i will give you some additional it will go so this row won't work dynamically because it's taking as initial value only so now i'm just to door it's working yeah fine so same like so this is using in a, in expression so now if you want to use the contents so that will be different so in in using the in the first one will be your checking one and the second syntax will be your list in if you are using contains the first one will be your list the first one will be your string actually there's one string and the second one will be a checking parameter so this you need to remember so i'm going to change this to contains okay so contains this is the list And code okay. so I'm just switching the parameter and let's check by typing any other thing 
so now it's blank still it's working so because if you test this expression see let's test this expression the first value has some blank values also right so check space are there so blank so if you use contains it won't consider as list instead of it will consider as single para single literals like c h e also it will work space also it will work comma also it will work so that's the difference between contains and things so now if you see here comma also it will work right so only either it won't work if other than see even if i type o r it will consider as single literals it will work so o r also it will work only thing if i r r r it won't work something other than depend than the whole string it won't work so that's the difference between in and or contain so if you make this as work for contains you let's change this to some letters okay or wait so i will remove this all this so for contains you can say like as a best so this for this kinds of things c codes like that or checking the emails for user admins so in will be better so for contains so here if you see user email so login user email and uh, we have the list of admin access right so in this case we can use in so and uh, view type also we can use in if contains means the best use case will be like uh, mm, let's say like if it's a email or like that so some has entered some value right so if it has at the rate means it will be an email like that we can do or some if any other use case like contains as So if in this case if you see address po box answers the question does the address indicate a post of box office like that so po box address so address has some list of address so you have like list of addresses right so if in that case you have po box means which means it contains an address like while fetching the email if you have some loss of data and all so in that case it will be useful and in if you see this left and right you can use it better way like for if contains if it contains as only less only in will be the best use case for all the steps so yeah so contains will be the only few use cases are there so just checking the literals and another thing i want to explain for in so this is a list case so if it will be sometimes you have a list of email ids like with comma separated so in that case so this is comma this is comma separated in this case you have to use the in function so that time how are you going to use i will show you how to use split based on this comma and then you have to check using in right because you can't use contain contain if you use you can type anything any literals will help you to unlock the access so in that case you have to use the split i will show you how to do that so this is the key code right now we need to show we have to use in only for perfect access condition so key codes 
and it contains this folder it will be the intro code will be here so we have to split this based on comma so this split will give you the list of items this if you use generally it will as I gives us a single literal i mean string but if you use split comma it will make it as a list of values okay without split we will check what it shows okay so without split i will explain it so i am testing the expression okay. now so this is a single literal it shows and it won't work also I was seeing this name open. I think it will work open because we have to type all the things, then only it will open. So I can copy paste all whole string literal, then it will open, right? So, but this is not the right case, so that's why I am using split in this case. So, so if you just split. Splitting by comma because so it's comma separated okay and we are splitting and making a split and then checking whether it's contained in this list so now I'll test the expression so it seems it got splitted now you can see the space as a list of items not a single letter and now we'll save So now I did open. Now I got open and let's see. Okay. Okay. Now it's okay. Now it's working. So yeah. If you have any doubts, just post a comment and I hope it will be helpful for you. And thank you guys. We'll meet in next video and share and subscribe if you like and this content thank you